Number 39. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. And then we have letter D. So in this case, we have to balance Fe2 plus plus Ce4 plus, which yields Fe3 plus plus Ce3 plus. And they're all aqueous. Okay, cool. Now, they don't tell me what solution we're in, right? Usually you'll see like, okay, it's an acidic solution or in basic solution. If they don't say anything, you just follow the acidic solution rules, okay? So we only care about the acidic solution here, not basic. And yeah, <laughs> they're, they're all here, right? We've seen these tons, you know, time and time again, and we're just gonna run through them, all right? So just memorize these guys. These probably aren't gonna be given to you on your test or quiz. And they're very number specific, okay? So let's get down to it. The first thing is we have to balance this into the half reactions. So like substances go with like substances. Pick the elements that look the same on opposite sides. So for example, Fe2 plus, I have an iron, right? And on the other side, here's my iron. So that would be one half reaction. And then the other ones, it looks like it checks out as well, right? I have a Ce4 plus, the element Ce, and then I have Ce3 plus, but it's still the same element. So my half reaction would be this is going with this, and this is hooking up with this. So that's the easy part, right? So now I'm just going to rewrite it. I have Fe2 plus aqueous yields Fe3 plus aqueous, and then I have Ce4 plus aqueous yields Ce3 plus aqueous. Okay, and that's the first part, done. Now we have to balance all the elements except for hydrogen and oxygen. But if I look here, I don't see any hydrogen or oxygen, so who cares, right? So I'm just gonna balance my iron on the top, but if I look at it, right, I had one iron and one iron. So that's already balanced. The same thing for the bottom. I had a CE and a CE, but it's one and one. So that's balanced. So I checked it. They were already balanced for me. Thank you very much. Step three is to balance the oxygens. But just like we said before, I'm looking at this and I don't see any oxygens even in any of these half reactions. So thank you very much. The fourth thing is balance the hydrogen but I don't see any hydrogen here, right? So I don't have to do this step. I just skip over it. Thank you very much. <laughs> that the, that's the phrase of the days. That's the phrase of the day. Anyway, <laughs> step five. Now we have to balance the charges. We always have to do this step. We can't skip it. So we have to add electrons, which are E negative, to the more positive side. That means we got to find out the total charge. So we like to do that little breakdown. And let's get the total charge for each one. Let's see, I see that I have a two plus, right, in the upper right hand corner, and I only have one iron. So the total charge for this side would be the two plus. So I'll just highlight that. And then for this side, I have a three plus here, right, and I only have one iron. So the total would be a plus three. We're always gonna add those, ele uh, those electrons to the more positive side. So out of a plus two and a plus three, the plus three is more positive. So I know that I'm gonna have to add the electron to this side, but how many? Well, you wanna bring it down to the other number. So how many numbers difference is a plus three to a plus two on a number line? I just gotta go one jump. So I, I only add one electron here. Now we just do the same thing for the bottom. Well, I have a plus four. I only have one of them. So the overall charge for this would be a plus four. On this side, I have a three plus. I only have one of these. So my overall charge would be a plus three. Which side is more positive? The plus four, right? So I have to add electrons here, and actually let me just put it as E minus plus, 
How many electrons? Well, from a 4 to down to a 3, how many jumps do I need to go? Yeah, just one, right? Not a number line. So I'll add one electron. This is a checkpoint, guys. Just make sure that your electrons that you added are on opposite sides. Mine are on opposite sides of the yield sign, so we're all cool. Just know that if you had, like, you know, the both electrons on one side, go back. Do it again. Something went wrong. Okay, so this is done. Now we got to balance those electrons. But I'm looking at it, and I see one electron on this side, and I have one electron on this side. So the number is the same. So I don't have to do that step. That's already done for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and then we're just going to cancel out like substances on the opposite sides, right? We're just simplifying. So let's see. Hmm. I have one electron. So that gets canceled. And I have one electron. So that gets canceled. So... Nothing else that I can really cancel out, right? I, I don't have the same things on both sides. I can't cancel these out because the charges are different. And the same thing goes for this. So now all I got to do is just combine it. I just rewrite it as one equation. So I just like to work from top to bottom. I just make sure that both of these are on the left side and both of these are on the right side like they were before. So my final answer would be Fe2 plus aqueous plus Ce4 plus aqueous yields Fe3 plus aqueous and then Ce3 plus aqueous. And if I look at what they gave me in the beginning, it's the same exact thing. This was the balanced answer. Wow. What tricksters. Um, basically, the whole thing here is that the elements match, right? I had one Fe and I have one Fe. I have one CE and one CE, and the charges balance as well. The overall charge here was a plus six to plus four, and then the overall charge here is a plus six as well. So the, that the sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. This would be your final answer. You didn't have to do anything. It's already balanced for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. But hopefully this gives you practice by doing the acidic method, all right? So hopefully this helped, guys. Sorry that it was the same thing, but it's just good practice. Um, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. And love to see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. Bye-bye.